morning you guys welcome to coffee time and happy new year we are in 2020 and this is a wonderful year so let's make it a great year happy new year everybody wonderful year great year leave 2019 behind we're in 2020 looking forward to a great and wonderful year yes so today's topic is about what are your goals for 2020 Let's talk about it. So what are your goals for 2020, right? My goals is just to be at peace. We always searching and looking for peace. To be at peace within myself, you know. We have drama in the past. Last year's drama is last year's drama. This is a new year, a new beginning, a new start, a fresh start. Let's start off this new year excited about the new year, looking forward to positive and great things, manifesting all our dreams, yeah. tapping it into our energy with more energy for our bodies. You know, start off, everybody start off good for the new year. Let's just keep it going throughout the whole year. You know, my dreams is just to be an entrepreneur and just, you know, start up our own business and work for ourselves. You know, yeah. that's the dream. I'm pretty sure that's a lot of people's dream. But, uh, you know, we blessed to have jobs right now, but uh, we got to dream bigger. Mm -hmm. And so my goals for this year is to, um, like you said, um, start my own business, um, get off this prescription drugs, get in better health, lose some weight. Um, I want positive energy, positive people, positive, positive things around me. Mm -hmm. uh, we all, like you said, we all got the same goals and uh, not the same goals, but as far as, you know, losing weight and, and stuff like that. So that's about the same. But um, the whole thing about, you know, your goals, you know, everybody have goals in life that they trying to accomplish. And then the important thing about uh, your goals in life, you need to uh, we learned for the last few years we have been writing down our goals. Every year, we, every year we write our goals down at the beginning of the year, and uh, you know we write down 20, 30, 40, 50 different goals. And over the years, them a lot of a lot of things that we wrote down, um, we manifest. They came to life. They came. We we brought them to us. You know, so it's so important to write down your goals. Visualize yourself having the things that you write down on that piece of paper. It's something about writing things down. So, you know, grab a piece of paper, grab a pen. It's, today is January the 1st, 2020. Write, sit down for a couple hours or, or 20 minutes or whatever. Write down your goals, all the things that you would like to see happen for you for the next 12, you know, 12 months. Write them down. Be very specific about what you want. You know, if you want a new house, you know, write it down. I want a new house in this area. What size house you want? How much you want to pay? Also, you have to put action behind it. You got to reach out to a realtor. You got to reach out to a mortgage company. You got to go out seeking a house, looking at houses. You know, it's just not about writing it down, but you have to visualize yourself already having a house. We have to... We taught the dream so small. Mm -hmm. We taught this from a young age. People will put down your dreams. You'll tell people your dreams and they'll put down your dreams mm -hmm. and say, you can't do that. We have to stop letting people tell us what we can't do and what we can do. Our problem is we dream too small. Mm -hmm. Your dreams should be big enough where they scare you. Right. Dream big. I had to learn this myself. This was a lesson for me throughout my life. You know, I had to start dreaming bigger for my life. Mm -hmm. And we had to tap into that energy and we had to manifest the things that we want because that's what we're here for. We're here to manifest. We are a manifestation of God. And we here, we are here to come into that knowing that we are the gods of the earth. Right. And we are here to manifest our dreams and our visions. We are here. We come to this earth. We might as well make the best of it. Stop focusing on your lack Mm -hmm. Stop focusing on the things that you don't have because your primary focus is what you are going to attract. Right. The things you focus more on, people focus more on their problems than having a beautiful life. 
Stop focusing on your problem. Put your focus on the things that you want. Because your fi- your primary focus is what you will manifest. So we have to stop focusing on negativity. Stop focusing on the things we don't want in our life, life and start focusing on the things that we want. Put your focus only on the things you want in 2020. Right. Leave 2019 behind. Focus on your goals. Focus on your dream. If it's weight loss, lose the weight. If it's a new house, start looking for the house. Get your realtor. Don't worry about the money. You right. know, everybody, we worry too much. Just start putting the energy towards what you want. Like I said, you know, it's so important to um, visualize, you know, like everything that is created here on this earth was some once someone thought. They thought about it before they actually made it come to pass. You know, so everything, cars, planes, trains. Uh, people open up their own new business. You know, you 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 thought about it first before it actually before you actually it came to pass. You know, so that's why I'm saying that we create our own life. You know, uh, we create our own destiny. So always think and have positive thoughts about your life, and ne- and never say what you can't have. And um. Uh... Thinking the quotes, Henry Ford got a quote. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he stole this quote or, or if it's actually his quote. His quote is, uh, whether a man think he can or think he can't, mm-hmm. either way, he's right. Right. So we had to believe in ourselves, you know. Yeah. Uh, Walt Disney. Mm-hmm. Walt Disney, all the characters, Mickey one. Mouse and all of them, mm-hmm. all them characters was once an ideal inside his mind. Right. He used to sit down and draw before he manifested Walt Disney and Disneyland. Mm-hmm. He used to sit down and draw it out, visualize the characters in his mind. Right. And this man actually uh, moved the earth and manifested all his dreams that he, mm-hmm. the visions that he had in his head. And his, your dreams and your aspirations will outlive you. Right. Walt Disney been dead sixty years, and look at Disneyland. Disneyland still is still going. going. So this is what I'm telling you about the ideas in your mind. Mm-hmm. The ideas in your mind will outlive you. Right. You know, I spoke of Henry Ford. Look at Ford. Ford Motor Company still going strong. Still going strong. And, uh, and the Ford Senior, he dead and gone. So yep. your dreams and your aspirations will outlive you. Mm-hmm. You know, our problem is we we not dreaming big enough. Nope. These these men they dream big. Right. And we had to start putting it out there too and start dreaming bigger for our life because you can really have anything you want. Right. But do you believe that you can have anything you want? Is the, the desire really there? Right. Yeah. Or are you focusing on the lack? Mm-hmm. Get that lack out of there. Stop focusing on the things you don't want. Start focusing on the things you want in your life and the people you want in your life. That's right. If people come around you and their energy ain't right, look, people can say whatever they want out their mouth. You my friend. I like you. But. I've been taught to, I, I, I pay attention to people's energy. Right. The energy is so important, not the words coming out of a person's mouth, because the person can tell you he love you, and he, you could tell he don't love you. Yep. The energy, the way a person treats you, mm-hmm. that's the most important thing to pay attention to. Right. Mm-hmm. But, like I said, you know, over the years, we have have wrote, wrote down a lot of our visions, our goals. We, we, write, we have a vision board that we write down and each one of us, you know, me, my husband, and our two daughters, we write down each a vision for it at the beginning of the year. And ev- mostly everything on that vision board for every year we write down come true. Yep, they do it. It's it comes true. true. It's true. It's not. It's not a lie. I'm telling you. Steve Harvey true. talked about it. He talked Steve about Harvey it on the show. He said he write it. He write it down. See them stars. They know because the they didn't tap into. They didn't tap into mm-hmm. their energy. They didn't tap into the power. Yep. Of self, because we are powerful. Yeah. We down here playing victim. Mm-hmm. We are powerful. God sent us here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And we down here, we playing victim. We mm-hmm. get caught up in society and caught up in poverty and coming from poverty. Look, we can rise up out of that. A lot right. of people rise up out of that. Mm-hmm. And you see them rising. So why, why you think you can't rise up out of that? We powerful beings. We got to tap into that energy, tap into that powerful, the power of self. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Tap into your energy, your power. Babe, babe, you remember a few years ago, this was in 2014. Mm. And you said you came out the job, you was on your way home, and you seen a vehicle that 
he was like, wow, that vehicle looks really, really nice. Mm-hmm. And I would like to see my my wife would look good in that vehicle. Yeah, I did. That's a true story. And you walked all it walked all around that car. Early mm-hmm. in the morning, walked all around that car. You never did that. I never know? did that. And you came home and you told me about it. Mm-hmm. And two months later, that same vehicle that he walked around and said, I look nice in, it was in my driveway. Yep. I'm going to tell you something. That wasn't two months later, baby. baby. That was thought, three weeks later. I thought it was two months. Three weeks later, that mm-hmm. same car mm-hmm. was in my driveway. Mm-hmm. See, we magical. Mm-hmm. We special. We just don't believe we are. And when you, when, when you don't believe you are, you won't yeah. be. Because you are what you believe you are. Yeah. You are what you believe mm-hmm. you are. Mm-hmm. If you believe you have nothing, guess what? You have nothing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Floyd Mayweather called himself Money May. And you see what he doing? Mm-hmm. Making that money. He got all the money. Because that's what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, the way you feel about yourself, you the way you him. think, and your self-love. You first yeah. Number one, you got to love yourself. Mm-hmm. That's number one, because this is your journey. You came here for you. That's, right. that's first and foremost. Mm-hmm. This is your journey. You came here for you. You got to put that love into yourself first. Before right. you can love anybody else, you got to love yourself. You love yourself. So, the belief factor and it's so important and there's nothing like when you control your own destiny we mm-hmm. control our own destiny you know people wonder why their life's so messed up well it's your thoughts your own your vibration thought. you your vibration mm-hmm. is low you, you mm-hmm. have to raise your vibration you have to vibrate on the thing we nothing more than broadcasting systems down here on earth broadcasting out into the universe yes. what we want and our desires mm-hmm. and the universe reading your system just like a radio mm-hmm. tapping into that system mm-hmm. your frequencies we, we the same. We energy. energy Nothing more but the energy beings. Mm-hmm. And we have to tap into that and tap into our desires and our dreams of what we want for our life yep. and not the things we don't want. That's most right. of us most of us are getting more of the things we don't want because that's our that's what we think about all the time. Mm-hmm. I ain't got this. I ain't got that. I can't have that. They got that, but I can't afford that. That's why you can't afford it. Right. The the the, the thought of you saying you can't afford it mm-hmm. that makes you not never be able to afford it. So we have to change our thoughts. If you change your thoughts, you change your life. You change the right. world. Yeah. Change the way you feel about yourself. Mm-hmm. Change your beliefs. Our beliefs is holding us back. Yes, it is. We have to draw from from that power of fear. We powerful. Yes. Stop playing. Stop being down here playing a victim. We're not mm-hmm. victims. We're not victims. We are kings and queens out here. Yes, we are. But if you don't believe that and you don't tap into that that powerful energy, you're never going to have it. You have to tap into that energy. That energy is going to sit silent and still until you tap into it and you bring it forth and call it forth. It's going to sit still mm-hmm. until you tap into it. You have to tap into the power of self, your power. You're powerful beings. And then uh, another story I got for us, you know, it happened to us also. We wrote down a few years ago that we wanted to purchase a new home. Oh, yeah. And we draw, we drew that home to us. This home we sitting in right now, we drew it to us. And um, you have to write down what you want. But just not writing it down, you have to seek it. You have to go out and seek it. That's why I said, if you want a new home, you have to put action. You have to put it. action behind it. You no matter to. what you do, if you want to start a new business, you have to. You got to write it down. You got to write it. And like I said, I said, be very specific about what you want, where you want it to be located, how you want it to look. Write it down, and you will see it come to pass. When you put the action behind when it, you put the action behind. You don't it. have to worry about where the money right. gonna come from. That's not your job. That's the universe job to worry about how you're going to get the money and how you're going to attract the money into your life. That's right. That's not your job. All you got to do is put the action, put the dream out there. You put the, put the dream. dream. Visualize it. Tap yep. into it. Tap into it. Yep. The universe will draw everything else to you. Right. The yep. people, places, and circumstances. Right. Put the right people you in your life. You have to put it out there. Yep. You have to vibrate and put it out there. And, and A lot of people don't know this stuff. No. Nope. But it's real. This it is, is the realest real. stuff. It's real. This is the real. Yes, we real. Yeah. We are creations and manifestations from of God. Own, yep. And we are in control of our own destiny. People blame God for everything and people say God is down here doing everything, but he's not. Mm-hmm. It's all us. We we down here creating all this chaos. Mm-hmm. You know, if we want a peaceful life, then we have to become peaceful. peaceful. There, there don't yep. have to be no murders down here. Mm-hmm. If everybody would just stop killing, it's us. We in control of our own destiny. Yep. So by you being knowing that you're in control of your own destiny, you have to draw forth and call forth what you want in your life. Because yes. we all want different mm-hmm. things. We. Everybody, everybody don't want the same thing. Yep. You know, everybody wants something different out of life. 
Everybody don't like the same cars. Everybody don't like the mm -hmm. same houses. But stop with that poverty stuff. Stop saying what you can't have. Never say what you can't have. Because really, you can have anything. God only says yes to us about everything we do. Everything we want, God say yes. He never say no. Yes. But you have to, once you write it down, like I said, it's so important to write it down and put action behind it. And once you write it down, you know, what we do, we write it down and we go over our vision board every morning before we leave out this house. And we go over our vision board every night before we go to bed. And you, we already see ourselves having it. If you don't get a vision board, then you're behind. You need to get yep, you a vision you board. Make, Make you a vision board of everything you want in your life. There's nothing wrong with wanting no, things out of life right. and having a beautiful life, painting your picture beautiful. Yes. Get you a vision board. Write down the things you want. Put some pictures up there if you want right. to of the things you want. Mm -hmm. You I have, have to tap into too, that. Yeah. You have to call it out. What you want. And you have to see yourself having it. Yep. That's the you whole thing. You have to see yourself having The unknown. Don't put That's nobody else in the picture. Put you in the picture. Right. Say, this is what I want. The unknown. Mm -hmm. Tap into the energy. Your, you know? your own energy. Right. Stop saying what you can't have. Write that stuff. You want a jet? Write down that you want a jet. Don't be sitting there saying, I can't afford no jet. I want that. Right. No. I would never say what I can't afford. Write it down. Can. Never. My, my motto now is I can have anything I want. Anything. I mean, it's I'm nothing telling you. Impossible. If you haven't, if you don't believe us, because you know, a lot of times they believe the stars. They believe the stars. So if you don't believe us, go check out Oprah page. Oprah talk about it all the time. All the time. Go on YouTube, pull up Oprah. She put. She talked about all the time how she manifests. She said she got. She have so many vision boards. She started up a vision board not even every year, every month, because her stuff is she manifesting stuff so fast now. Steve Harvey talked about it all the time. You know, uh, uh, Pub Daddy also he all talked about all of them. Know. They know. They tap into their own power. They know the power is. They know it. They know the power is just like that movie, Last American Dragon, with Leroy. Yeah. And you seen Leroy was running all over the town. Mm -hmm. Him and the character showing enough, showing enough, played the the devil character with right. the big afro. Yeah. And he was chasing Leroy all over town, and mm -hmm. Leroy was running all over town trying to find God. And towards the end of the movie, you seen Leroy all that time. Leroy had the juice. Remember, he started going yeah. mm -hmm. all that time. It, it was already it was within. He was looking for something outside of himself. But really is with within. Right. You know, that's the forces within us. It's not outside of us. It's not in the sky mm -hmm. looking around. It's within. Yep. So you got to go within. Mm -hmm. Leroy started lighting up like a light bulb once he finally learned the truth. Yep. See, they put it in movies, but we don't know the truth about who we, what right. we really are. Nope, you don't. You know, we down here playing small. When we got the juice, you are the plug. Mm -hmm. So stop looking for the plug. You are the plug. I mean, I, like I said, all you had to do is look at your own life. You had manifest a lot of things in your life. Your children. Your relationships, your jobs, mm -hmm. your houses, yep. your cars. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it already. You just don't know you you're doing don't, it. You don't realize That's it. the thing. We all doing it. Everything we got, our jobs, it. we've been doing this forever, but we just don't know that, that we're doing it. You are in control. Yep. You, you in are in control. control. I mean, the law of attraction, I don't know, but a lot of people, a lot of people don't look, let's go and listen to the law of attraction. They have a book about the secret. It's called, you know, the secret is about the That's law of That's when it first came on the scene. But it's and been a while. It's, it's stuff been a while. This is true. This stuff is the truth. These people are man. We are manifesting our own life, whether it's good or bad. But we manifesting our own, the, every every event we have occur in our life is is us. It's not nobody else. It's us. We making these decisions. We making things happen to us. Not so God. now. Once you doing once you realize that you are manifesting things, then say okay. Well, I'm not gonna manifest nothing bad no more. I'm about to manifest only good things. There's nothing like. You manifesting your things and they come to true. You know, we done done it a lot. Right. And then we Because like, you got the power. The power you the powerful. Right. You the one yep. bringing things into your life. You know? Yep. God want what you want for you. So it's you doing the work. It's you bringing the things into your life. So you have to we, realize that. We. Everybody think God giving us this stuff or God right. bless us. Yep. No, it's what you want. Right. It's about you. Me and my husband. Everybody wants me and something my different. Husband, me and my husband have manifest so many things. I'm telling you, every year we write down stuff, and a, a lot of things that we write down has has come to pass. We we have noticed that, like wow, you know, we even talk about it. Like we can't. So I'm telling you, take your t take the time today and write down. And like I said, don't stop at ten things, twenty things. Try to at least write a hundred things today, you know. And I'm be be very. Pacific and and write down what you really want. Like I said, if you want a yacht, if you want a, a million dollar empire, whatever, 
write it down. Don't sit there and say, I can't. No, yes, you can. You can have whatever your heart desires. And start paying attention to your dreams because yep. your dreams, mm -hmm. your subconscious mind is always active. Even when we sleep, mm -hmm. your brain is active and your subconscious mind is at work. That's the real stuff. Yep. Pay attention to your dreams because your dreams be trying to tell you different things. Yes, they do. You know what I'm saying? So pay attention to that too. Yep. But you have to realize that you're powerful. We didn't just, it's no accident for us just coming here, you know, mm -mm. and we just uh, appeared in our mama's stomach and we just here. No, we we powerful creators. Right. So create. You come here life. to create. That's why you create other lives. That's why you have children because right. you are a creator. Mm -hmm. You are here co-creating with God. You're right. a creator. You know, you waiting on God and God looking back, waiting on you. What you want next? He asked right. you, what do you want next? You what do you want me to do next? You saying you? God can I, and God looking at you like, right. I'm waiting on you. You know, so stop blaming God. It's you. Right. You got You got to call forth the things you want in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, stop feeling down about yourself. Love yourself. Put some love into yourself. You're right. loving everybody else. Mm -hmm. Wrap your arms around yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, you know what? You deserve love. Love yourself. Because you that's when that magic really start happening. When you right. start having gratitude, be a, number one, be thankful for what you have now. Right. That's number one. The car you have now, the house you have now, the apartment you have now, whatever you got now, be thankful for that. Mm -hmm. That's how you get to the next level. Being right. thankful and, and having gratitude yep. for what you have now. Yeah, gratitude. And that's how you big. move to the next level. Gratitude is super huge. Yep. Being thankful for whatever you have. The universe, no the the universe, amount. love when we be grat when we when we thankful for the things we that we have. We, we have. have gratitude and thankful for life. For, yep. You know, thankful mm -hmm. for your life. You are still here. Yep. A lot of people, even at, at work, a lot of people didn't make it in 2020. Right. I mean, December we had two coworkers die. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people didn't even get to tap into 2020. So if you're here, you're watching these videos, realize how blessed you are. Yes. You're blessed to be able to be here, still be here. Mm -hmm. You still have a chance to uh, live out this dream. This is a dream. Right. You still have a chance to paint your life beautiful and, and sh spend time with your family mm -hmm. and just uh, look out into the sun and go outside and breathe in that fresh air and just right. be thankful for the gift that you've been given, mm -hmm. the gift of life. You know, yeah. a lot of people didn't make it to this. So now that you're here. Come on, let's get to it. Let's call forth the things you really want in life. Right. Stop just accepting things as they are. Right. And you start moving this earth. You have right. to bend your own reality. Mm -hmm. Bend it to your favor. Yep. You here, create. You are here to create. That's what you've come here for. Mm -hmm. We come here to create and wake up to who we are. Yep. We are the gods. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you know, just be uh be be more positive, speak more positive, put out that positive energy. And then surround yourself with positive people and positive things. Yeah. That's, that's the point. most important thing. You cannot uh manifest good things in your life when you have negativity always. Always in right. people, that's people right. is texting you with negative stuff, mm -hmm. calling you with negative stuff. So mm -hmm. Did you hear what such and such said? No. Mm -hmm. This year and the years to come, surround mm -hmm. yourself with positive people and positive energy. Yep. I'm sorry. Sometimes you have to uh, remove Move people. Remove yeah, the negativity, the Some negative people, people your in life. your life because they don't want nothing. They want. They just want to see. They the, they they negative and their life is not good. So they want to see your life not good. Mm -hmm. No, you have to remove them. Well, some of these people have been attached to you since you was a kid. Some of these yeah. people in your family. Mm -hmm. Some of these people is your best friend. Yep. You know, you've been with them forever, and they in your life just to keep you down. To keep you down. Keep you low where you at. Right. And always. Giving you that negativity in your ear. They, 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 they never got nothing positive for mm -hmm. you. No. They never like when good things happen to you. You no. can see. You can, you can read their energy and tell yep. they're not happy for you. Mm -hmm. So why are they in your life? You mm -hmm. got to remove them out your life. You're going to fly. Yep. You got to remove them. Yeah, clip clip them off your wings. I'm to the point where if your energy don't match my energy yep. and you nothing like me, I can't be around you. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Whether it's friends, family, I don't care who it is. I can't whoever. You can't. I can't have you in my space. Yeah, I can't have you in my space. If you're negative, I can't. I can't do it. That 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 put a lot of. I mean that that stress you out. Yeah. I cannot have that. Yeah. You yeah. know, and so I just you know if you're not a positive energy or want positivity in your life, stay away from me. Because all I gotta say, stay away from if me. If you ain't got love in your heart, and yep. all your heart is filled with hatred, then I don't want you yeah. around me. Yep. I'm all about love. So. Yep. We should be loving each other and um, mm -hmm. we should be wanting to see each other win. Right. You know, you come up with an idea and your family and friends will be the first one to tell you. You can't do that. You can't do that. Nope. 
They shoot it down before mm-hmm. even before you even and then and then when they shoot it down, it make you feel bad and you start saying yeah. maybe I can't. But they should be your biggest cheerleaders. Right. You know, we all gotta start supporting we each other. We gotta support each other. That's the problem. And start wanting to see each other win. The yeah. way you win is to want to see other people win. Right. That's how you win. Mm-hmm. We have to support one another. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what we supposed to do. I mean, we supposed to support one another. You know, I wanna see you win, you wanna see me win. We yep. can help each other. Yep. You know? And like I said, you know, it's so important, you know, look, if I got a gallon of milk and you coming to the table with a half a gallon, I can't deal with you. Mm-hmm. I need you to be coming to the table with a gallon of milk. Okay? We don't I don't I only want a gallon of milk people in my circle. Okay, I can't I can't deal with you. You you, you get a half a gallon. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, you have to surround yourself with people that want to see you win and you want to see them win. That's the only way, positive energy. Mm -hmm. Positive energy, that's all we want from 2020 and and up and beyond. Because ultimately, Mm -hmm. this year, 2020 is going to be what you make it. It's going to be what you make it. It's going to be what you make it. It's going to be what you say it's going to be. Yep. It's going to be what you feel it's going to be. It's so important to start tapping into the feeling. Right. People pray, but you you need to start meditating. And tap that. into the feeling of That's your right. prayers. It's not just about praying with your mouth. It's about tapping into the feeling. How would you feel if you actually got the things or you was the places you be praying about? Right. Tap into the feeling. Mm-hmm. It's of, the feeling of having yeah. these things. It's the feeling. It's bigger mm-hmm. than just uh, prayer with your mouth. You got to tap into the feeling. That's why you see all the stars. Everybody that's li- living a beautiful lives. They tap into. They meditate. They meditate. Meditating is the realest thing. We got to learn to meditate. I know people. Think, think something wrong with it, yeah, but it's not. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so peaceful. It's peaceful. Meditating is so peaceful. Yes, it is. There's nothing wrong yes, with it. There's nothing bad yes, about it. it. See, they done made all this stuff taboo, so people want to tap into their true power. Mm-hmm. You know, they yep. they tricking people. It's not about what you say out your mouth. It's about a, it's a the feeling. feeling. Tap into the and feeling. And visualizing yourself having it. Mm-hmm. If you want to go to Hawaii, visualize yourself laying on that on beach. On that beach, in the water. In your bikini or your body. I can feel the air in Hawaii. Matter of fact, I want to go to Hawaii. I know, that's right. I can feel the air now, breathing. And uh, my head. and you have to see yourself. You got to see yourself <laughs> perching in the ticket. You got to see yourself. I can see flying. myself on the beach. I want. I'm going. We going to Hawaii. We gonna post you know when we go. You'll see. We going. You have to do that. Cause I can feel the air and the, you and, have to and the do water. That. I can smell the water yep. and land on the beach. I'm going. So, I'm definitely hitting the water. Visualize whatever you, whatever you like. I said, and, and when you write your vision board out, I'm telling you, whatever you want. If I said, like I said, if you want a, a million dollar, a multi million dollar empire, write it down. Stop talking about what you can't have. Get Stop can. putting limits on your life. Stop limiting. You limited yourself. Right there. It's your own vision board. Nobody don't know what you're writing. Right. It's right. Your own and, and keep it to you. And, and, and when you write your vision board out, don't tell nobody. Don't yeah. tell nobody your vision. Because I'm telling you, once you tell I'm people you your ideas secret. and your vision, they will shoot it down mm-hmm. in five seconds. Mm-hmm. Okay? So keep your visions and your ide- um, your ideas and your dreams and your goals in life to yourself. And then once you manifest and it come to pass, then tell them. Show them, then show them. Show them. Pull that vision board out and be like, girl, this is what I wrote. And then they'll, they'll start believing like, dang, you did write that down. Yeah. You know, show them after it come to pass. Yeah. Don't show them before because they're going to shoot it down, I'm telling you. And just like you watching me right now, what is so special about the next person that they can have everything they want? Mm-hmm. In life, enjoy everything they want, but you can't have it. You can have the same thing. Mm-hmm. You gotta want it. You gotta believe it. And you gotta believe it. Mm-hmm. You gotta have faith in it. Yep. And you gotta draw it to you. Mm-hmm. Stop complaining about what you don't have. Everybody else doing good. Why can't you? You right. can have it too. You can have everything, all your wants and dreams yep. and desires. You can have it. You gotta dream big. You gotta believe you can have it. It's the yep. power. It's power and belief. Yep. It's power and belief. It's power in your belief. Mm-hmm. You can manifest anything you want. There's nothing like manifesting that you know you manifest it. You know you draw it to you. I mean, like I said, we it That's happened. What we it, to do. it happened. It happened for us so many times. I'm telling you, we manifest so many things over the years, and it is unbelievable. Like me and my husband, we talk about it all the time. Like, oh my God, we wrote that down. We'll pull our vision board out. Like we wrote that down at the beginning of the year or three months ago or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, we. I mean, I'm telling you. Because people don't believe it. They don't believe it. We are we ourselves are a manifestation of God. Mm-hmm. We are we are a manifestation of God thoughts. That's mm-hmm. why we're here. Because God manifested us. Right. And ye are gods. Mm-hmm. You got the power to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know, he yeah. gave you everything. That's why he gives us nothing. Right. Because he already gave you everything. Mm-hmm. 
Stop waiting on God. God waiting on you. He already gave you everything. Mm -hmm. He gave you the juice. You are the plug. Mm -hmm. Stop waiting on the plug when you you the plug. You got the juice. Activate your juice. You're not activating mm -hmm. it. It's laying that domain. It's laying that silence still because you're not activating it. Yep. You have to activate it. It takes you. Activate your power. Activate it. It takes you. I mean, I'm telling you. I know I'm powerful. I'm me too. I am powerful. I mean, like I said, when we first started writing that vision board, you know, you sit there, you be looking at it sometimes, and you say, hey, ain't nothing, nothing ain't happened yet. And then when you see it happen, you be like, oh my God, I wrote that down. It happened. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it works. We are manifesting everything. But really, it's not so much life. about it's that we work. Yeah. We at work. Right. We at work. We working it. We working it. We manifest it's you. It's all you. It's all you. Everything. Mm hmm. I mean, I remember, I'm, I'm just being truthful. I remember at the age of 16, and um, I always used to say that, you know, when I have children, I want two girls. Mm -hmm. I said at the age of 16. And I had my first child at 21, and it was a girl. And when I had her, I was saying, okay, now I got a girl. So now I'm saying, you know, I got pregnant again three years later, and I was saying I wanted a boy. Uh-uh. It was a girl. You know why? Because when I was 16, I already put it out there, put what out I there. wanted. And I forget, I forget that when I was 16 that I said I wanted two girls. Mm -hmm. I already met, I already said, I already told God. You already put the vibration out there. The vibration, I already put it out there. Now I know. can't change it, now. Nah. All you I do is put it out there and let I it go. Put it out. I put it out there and I remember and I said, no, Sherelle, you said at 16 you wanted two girls and that's what you got. Mm -hmm. We are manifesting our own life. Mm -hmm. Whether you believe it or not, you are. You are. So, like I said, once you All you got to do is that, think back over your life and everything yep. that you have drawn in your life so far. There's nothing but the law of attraction yep. at play, and it's yep. always that's been working, it. whether you know you're working it or not. Yep. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. And, and, and a lot of people don't want people to know this. Mm -hmm. They don't want people to know that they got the power. Right. You know. They don't. They want you to look for your power outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. Look in the sky. Look here. Look here. They want you to look everywhere, but. The power of you. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to know that you're the powerful one. Right. That's the that's tip top secret. That's the secret. Yep. That's the real secret. Yep. So they want you to look everywhere else, mm -hmm. but at yourself. Yep. I tell people you want to find God, just go look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. You hear me? You the powerful one. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So you guys, today the topic was about what are your dreams and your goals for 2020. And like I said, you guys, this make this the best year of our lives in the years to come mm -hmm. and manifest. We got a lot more living to do. Yeah. Manifest everything. A lot more dreams, beautiful a lot more things. vacations, mm -hmm. a lot more journey. This is yeah. our journey. We're yeah. going to make it beautiful. Yeah. You got to paint your journey beautiful. Yes, you do. I got my paintbrush out and I'm painting it. I mean, beautiful. It's looking so beautiful. And, Life and, is beautiful. And, and surround yourself. Like I said, I'm not being funny, but surround yourself with positive energy and positive people. And once you start doing it, you will start seeing a difference in your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Negativity. Nobody need that. Okay? Don't need that. So you guys, like I said, you know, uh, welcome to hello, hello 2020. And hello. let's make this the best year of our life in the years to come. Mm -hmm. You know, just eat healthier. Just be healthier. Just, just um, uh, manifest the, the, the goals that we want in our life. See your life as being beautiful. And, um. You guys, uh, I'm gonna this this topic right here. We're gonna throw this out the window. Let's throw that out the window. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would, you know, if, if this your first time um, looking at our uh, channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and subscribe and comment down below. Hit that bell. Hit that bell. Ding. And today we had coffee, pan, blueberry pancakes. And bacon. And babe, where our show going? We're going number one on YouTube. We, going, yeah, we, we already talked about it. We're going to the top of to YouTube. Top. So when y'all see our followers shoot to the top, you'll know. Yep. We said it so. We're going to the top of YouTube. 2020, we said it. We're going to the top. We, we got a hit show. We got a hit show, baby. We got a hit show, baby. We got a hit show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, uh, we would um, be uploading again this Saturday with a new coffee time for mm -hmm. 2020. Yep. We love you guys. We thank you guys for supporting us. And uh, all we here is we here to do is just give you good information and yeah. uh, good topics. And you can let your kids watch the show because yeah. we're not doing no cussing or none of that. <laughs> it's PG. I want I want to talk to the kids. Yeah. We talk to them too. Mm -hmm. We all need to be talking to. So yep. Yeah. Tune in. So have a, a wonderful Wednesday morning, yeah. and we will see you guys 
bright and early on Saturday with a new topic. Yep. Happy New Year to all. Happy New Year. God bless. God bless. We out.